So they say the proof in the pudding is in the tasting. So I'm very excited to be the first person in South Africa to actually shoot this gun. I'm going to shoot stock standard factory ammunition. We've taken uh, Sarko Super Hammerheads, 180 grain. This is a hunting round for a hunting rifle. Let's see what sort of group, grouping we can get at 100 meters. What's really nice about this uh, firearm is the really easy loading system. You just grab it and you can push it in. It is a five round magazine, but let's have three rounds at 100 meters. Let's see. I'm actually quite excited about this. Loads unbelievably well. Ejects a cartridge exceptionally well. Way within uh, sub MIA. Unbelievably nice gun to shoot. I didn't have a lot of pressure on the gun at all, just to feel the type of recoil. Absolutely brilliant. Nice crisp trigger. It does have three settings as we showed you a little bit earlier. We shot it on the heavier setting now, like a normal hunting environment. And really an unbelievably nice gun to shoot. It is fairly light, so I would have expected the recoil to be a little bit worse. I would have expected maybe a little bit of muzzle jump as well. But from the shooter's perspective, I didn't feel any of that. And by the grouping that we got there at 100 meters, really a wonderful gun for stock standard, basic, a very good hunting round. So a bonded bullet. We're not trying to shoot anything fancy. So first impressions, unbelievable. Beretta has done an exceptional job. 500 years in the making and really they've, you guys have knocked the ball out of the park. Well done. So what's really important and impressive with this gun is the speed at which you can actually physically shoot. Because it doesn't have that expan expansion bolt, your cycle is unbelievably quick. So let's see how quickly we can take on four different targets. Unfortunately, the scope that I chose today is one of these high-powered scopes, so it's going to make it a little bit harder, especially at close distance here. Magazine into the gun, four rounds, four balloons. Let's see how quickly we can actually shoot this. Nice, easy gun to, to shoot. The recoil is almost non-existent. I could feel myself trying to lean a little bit forward there the whole time, expecting a, a more severe recoil. And even though this is slightly short for me, as I mentioned, it's still unbelievably nice and smooth. And your movement is back there and you're almost on the trigger. So it's nice and quick. But for me, I definitely take at least another, another space on the back, which is brilliant because these spaces are stock standard 1301 tactical shotgun spaces. And you can get it in a half inch or one inch. So nice, easy, but a hell of a nice balance gun to actually shoot. And unbelievably quick. I was so impressed with the 308. We did actually have two guns here, one to show and one to actually test. But I must admit, my interest took the better of me, so... I went and I, I took out the 300 wind, uh, wind mag. I took the scope off the 308, put it onto this. I bore sighted at uh, 100 meters. I took one shot with the new uh, power head blades from Saku. Uh, I was slightly right and slightly low, but I've made the necessary corrections. And now we're going to try and shoot a gong second shot ever through this barrel. It's going to be at 200 meters. Let's see how it goes. Eyes and ears. So I had to come one inch up. I've made the correction for the left and right and I need to come up another 0.75 for 200. Let's see what she's like. Again, these guns are really unbelievably nice to shoot and really well designed and thought out. So even to try and shoot directly from the magazine, you can feed it in or you can simply push it forward, just drop a bullet into the chamber and you can do it. And what's also very nice, 
um, is that you can happily feed from the left hand side or the right hand side. So it's truly ambidextrous from that perspective as well, even for a right hand shooter. Okay, 200 meters. Oh, just slightly low and slightly left of center. So I made a, a slight overcorrection, but that's not bad. Second shot ever out of the gun at 200 meters and it's almost spot on. So again, I shot this gun really with almost no, uh, take it, with almost free recoil just to see what sort of recoil that it has. And even though it's a 300 wind mag and people are normally quite scared of it because it's quite a large cartridge, it really is a, a puppy to shoot. It really is well balanced. Um, again, from behind the gun, I don't feel any muzzle jump and uh, hardly any recoil from the bench, really comfortable to shoot. And as I've mentioned a couple of times before, um, these guns are maybe slightly short for me. I'd like to try and extend the length of pull for it to be a little bit more comfortable, but shooting it practically free recoil, an absolute pleasure. The 200 meter was too easy. So I think instead of going out to 300 meters and wasting everybody's time, let's see if we can get the fourth shot at 400 meters. So we've dialed up to 4.75. These are running quite hot and they seem to be running almost spot on. Um, according to the box, they run at uh, 3,018 foot per second. So it's, it's very quick. Um, the wind is light and and variable so there's not too much issues there let's see third shot ever with the gun let's see what we do at 400 okay there is a bit of a, a mirage definitely coming from right to left okay hold let's hold center not too bad Third shot with this BRX 300 uh, wind mag, shooting um, the Sarko uh, Powerhead blades. It's a new uh, round for them. Shoots unbelievably well, but I'm actually shooting here and filming today with Bueller and Johan. And I'm telling them what a, a gentle little puppy this, this gun is. And Bueller is shaking her head at there, not believing me. So I think, it, as I said to you right up front, the proof, is, the proof in the pudding is in the tasting. So I think you need to come and actually try this. You don't even have to push it forward. You can just drop it into the chamber. There you go, you're ready to go. Center mass. <laughs> Child play. <laughs> and what was the recall like for a 300 wind mag? It's like a 308. It's like a 308. And it really is a light gun that you can carry around the whole day in the bush, but it really shoots unbelievably comfortably. And I like how smooth the action and everything. Well, now try on the ejection of a cartridge. Sure. Nice and easy, huh? Okay, Johan. Beautiful. No pressure. <laughs> no pressure, <laughs> Johan. So this gun, we've shot how many? Four rounds from it, huh? Yeah. First one bore sighted on the gong at 100 meters. We knew yeah. that we were okay. Then second shot at 200 meters, yeah. we were spot on. And then myself and Bueller have shot on the gong at 400 without missing. <laughs> so no don't pleasure. we don't want to jinx anything, but listen here, yeah, we'd like a full house on this gun, please. Huh? Oh, nice one. Hey? Big match temperament. <laughs> and yeah, this is a gun that we haven't done any prep. We've taken stock standard loads. The blades have been 100% spot on. We've punched in exactly what they've said on the box. Yeah. And we've gone and hit that gong without any, any misses. And the, the fact that, listen, yeah, that gun is so balanced and such a nice, easy shooter. You know, as a whole, I've never liked the 300 wind mags much because I've always, ah, oh, heavy recoil, you don't have an opportunity to see your target as you, uh, uh, the impact of your shot. Yeah. But this year, really, you can see 500 years of perfection. Yeah, I, I was also amazed with the 300 wind mag. You always expect it to have lots of recoil, especially without a, a, a muzzle break or a silencer on, you know? And uh, I mean, what is really great about this gun, if you're left-handed or right-handed, it's so easy to switch. Exactly, yeah. 
really it's a absolutely perfect gun so it's it's the i think it's one of the ultimate hunting guns it's nice and light it's yeah, easy yes. to transport it shoots like an absolute dream you can happily go take one gun and have two hunters one left hand right hand and you can change it in the in the felt there and yeah. it takes you one minute to go and change it and you can leave it left hand extraction right handed it's brilliant and then the safety functions that they've built into this gun as well. Yeah, it it's, offers you the best of the best safety in a hunting environment. So you know, listen, yeah, if you're hunting with people that are not great hunters or don't hunt on a regular basis, you know it's very easy at a glance. You can see exactly where the gun is, if it's safe, yeah. if it's not safe. It's an amazing gun. I'm yeah, really impressed. It's a great gun. I, I, <laughs> the hunters must definitely go check it out at the stores when, as soon as it reaches them. Oh, soon. <laughs> soon. Christmas is coming early this year. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're excited to have it into the, into the market and we have no doubt that based on what the limited shooting we've done today, man, there's no doubt it's going to be a ginormous success. Yeah, for sure, Mark. Yeah. Thanks, Johan. Thanks, Mark.